Hey guys, this video was originally intended to be my uh, follow-up second impressions video to the new Westcott stuff, the FJ80 and the FJX2 uh, transmitter trigger. But the reason I'm sending this back is something that I thought it'd be good to talk about uh, lots of different things. So this is basically just turned into trigger talk. So this system is really nice, obviously. That's beautiful. The interface is awesome, you can see. Uh, but the trigger and the flash, to turn it on, it's just got this kind of slow, you gotta press and hold and it goes through this boot up routine. It's not terribly long, but the speed light is worse. You gotta press and hold and then tap and then it does this whole like boot up process. You know, that took 10 seconds, but multiply that times 500 or however many shots we take a day and it adds up. So that, you know, led me to think about all the other triggers that I have and have tried. The, you know, the standard which we all kind of go by is the Godox X Pro. The switch is great. You just flick it and it's on. This is the new X100. I thought you guys might like to see it in size relation to some other lighting tools. This one's startup is a little annoying too. It's press and hold to turn off and then to turn on, it's press and hold. And then you gotta roll this. That's kind of annoying. It's not bad though, cause you can leave this on, you know, and just, I, I leave, you know, my light on and just turn the trigger on and off. So really what we're talking about is ease of engaging and disengaging, powering on and off the trigger. Uh, Godox is great, flip the switch and it's on. Super easy. My personal favorite, the Nissan Air 10S and MG10. Tap that and it's on. The actual strobe, press that. This does the wireless triggering, so it takes a second to sync, but once you have that link happening, it's happened. Unlike this, which is again is this press and hold for a second, load up, booting. I don't wanna do that 500 times a day. Uh, the Photic stuff is pretty good. It's, it's a little bit of press and a hold, but it comes up pretty fast. Profoto, the press on is quick. It loads up quick. This is annoying. Hold to turn off, but to turn it on, press, hold and you got to do this unlock routine kind of like a Godox AD 400 does. So I don't think really that these uh, flash manufacturers when they're considering their uh, uh, power systems are really considering photographers like us who are literally going to turn these things on and off 500, 600, 700, 800 times a day. You know, I do not want to be going through this power down, power up, loading thing between each shot. I wanna be able to tap it on, tap it off. Switch it on. Oh, come on Godox, this is your moment. I don't know why that's not working. But this is the one I use, that always works. Press, tap the power button and it turns on, tap this power button, they sync, you got your shutter trigger here, that fires the camera. So um, the Mighty Nissan MG10 Air 10S remains supreme against uh, all contenders. I, I really wanted this to be great, um, but this, the, the time that it takes to power on and load the little screen operating system, whatever it's running, um, is a deal breaker for me. Hope you guys found this useful. Peace.